the American family is under attack. According to the Pew Research Center, mothers are now the sole or primary provider in four out of 10 households that include children under the age of 18. This trend reveals one of the most severe threats to the American family, men. You're seeing, I think, systemically, larger than the political stories that we follow every day, something going terribly wrong in American society, and it's hurting our children. If moms are so busy with conference calls and meetings and leaning in all the time, that leaves us with one daunting challenge. Who's gonna take care of the kids? Anyone who's watched movies or television over the last 40 years knows that dads are all bumbling idiots when it comes to parenting. Still, some dads are irresponsible enough to give it a try. One of these dangerous men, Christopher Pursley. Christopher runs a blog about being a stay-at-home dad. He writes things like, I love being a husband and father, and I am straight killing this fatherhood thing but I was skeptical. So I decided to get the inside scoop from the person most affected by this troubling trend, Christopher's daughter, Camilla. So I wanna ask you a few questions uh -huh. about your daddy. Uh -huh. How many horror, scary movies has your dad let you watch? No, none. Has your dad ever told you that he would come to your ballet recitals and he kept like answering the phone in the middle of your show? No, but um, he did come to one of my ballet shows. Was he there on time? No, he was there before it was just started. Have you ever been like on the subway platform and then he like forgot you on the subway platform? No, that never happens. We're always holding your hands. Has your dad ever vacuumed the floor and then like vacuumed the drapes by accident? No, that's the so silly. What about, has your dad ever, you know, you spilled something on the floor and then he used a newspaper to clean it off? No, none. He leaves it with snack and like paper, paper towels. towels? Mm -hmm. And just cleans it up? Yeah, of course. Clearly, Camilla was drinking the Kool-Aid, probably because her dad didn't know what else to feed her. So I decided that I needed to investigate for myself. Using a hidden camera, I observed Christopher's parenting methods. I was certain I'd catch him in an act of bad parenting, so I watched anxiously, ready to intervene at any moment. But I have to say, Christopher seemed to be a pretty great dad. He cooked for Camilla, picked her up from school, played with her for hours, and took every opportunity to teach her right from wrong. Oh, you kicked me. What do you say? Sorry. He was nothing like those TV dads. Our family might, we might look a little bit different, but we're all about kind of busting up stereotypes. What do you think are some of the biggest assumptions that are made about stay-at-home dads? There are so many people who offer unsolicited advice. They just automatically make assumptions that I'm inept. There's a diaper commercial a yeah. few years ago that Huggies, was, yeah. yeah, Huggies. To prove Huggies diapers and wipes can handle anything, we put them to the toughest test imaginable. Dads. That um, was just not well received. I feel from that point on, the Super Bowl just had all of these fantastic mm -hmm. commercials that showed dads being very capable, very good parents and not the bumbling oafs that we've seen for so long in, in the media. The more people see this positive portrayal of fathers, the more people hear about the competency and, and the fun and, and the beauty of, of being an at-home parent, I think more people are going to make that decision. It sends a really strong message to Camilla that she's going to have a dad who is a part of her life. My dad wasn't around, so for me it's been so important to, to have this connection with, with my daughter. I know she values that, and in the long run it's going to be um, beneficial to her. Christopher is not alone in wanting to be more involved in his daughter's life. President Obama recently talked about the importance of paid parental leave for both mothers and fathers. And Sheryl Sandberg launched the Lean In Together campaign saying that children with involved fathers are happier, healthier, and more successful. Maybe it's time to change our notion of what a father can be from this. When you look at biology, look at the natural world, the roles of, of a, a male and a female in society and other animals, the, the male typically is the, the dominant role. To something like this. I have a song to sing for you on the train. It's called Everybody's Equal.
Wow. Everybody think we know Yeah.